it's Kay Redford here and today we are talking about what recipes we're all diffusing in our houses. Yes! So where I'm doing it in one of my kids bedrooms because I diffuse in my kids bedrooms and in our bedroom pretty much every single night. So I have, um, I have three diffusers. <laughs> so I'll tell you some recipes and the regular things that I do and hopefully you can let me know what you do. It would be great to, to learn from each other. So, what we've got, the fun part about diffusing is that you can't really go wrong. Um, the times I can tell you where I've made an error would be an example of one time I put lavender in one of my kids' diffusers at night, and about 2 a.m. she woke up and kind of going like this. So I guess it was overpowering with the flowery scent for too long. So I really don't diffuse lavender in her bedroom at night anymore. But again, that's just individual. And uh, so what I use for calming when I want to make sure they get a really good night's sleep is and calm, calm them down is I use frankincense, which is a powerful, powerful calmer to our, to our nervous systems. And then obviously peace and calm. It's an amazing blend that that works really, really well for calming. And then I find black spruce is just like delicious for calming down. It's such an amazing scent. It literally smells like the tree, right? And then lavender. And again, not for one of my children, but I love it. My husband loves it and my other daughter. So those are the ones I use for that. And I can use a combination of them. I, can, I usually, again, with my children's room, I only use maybe up to five drops of any of the oils. And I can make a mixture of any of these four I just talked about. I love lavender and frankincense together, and then even a drop of the black spruce. I usually use the Peace and Calming just on its own. It's pretty special oil. If you haven't smelt it, I highly recommend getting some. Alrighty, and then moving right along to the citrus oils. So I diffuse these a lot, and I've heard through one of my friends, her son, her two-year-old, was quite awake when she diffused lemon. So she doesn't diffuse lemon at night anymore, but that doesn't happen with my kids, so I diffuse it. And as well, also when I'm diffusing, I'm using, you know, probably 15 drops of oil each night. So lemon's like a $14 bottle of oil. So I diffuse that a lot, just sometimes when I'm looking at cost and I know it's effective for my kids. And then I've got bergamot, which is heavenly. It's actually a fruit from a fruit tree and it's so sour that we don't eat it, but it's really, really, really helpful when we diffuse it. And as well, I've got tangerine, orange, they're all really great choices for diffusing at night, uh, just as a preventative, really. And I like the lemon if a cough and cold is coming. But what I really use for diffusing at night when my kids or myself or my husband are starting to get a little bit of a cough or cold, um, or starting really just not to feel great, I use thieves. And if, say, my kids wake up and they kind of aren't feeling 100%, I, for their nap, will put diffused thieves. And honestly, most times they wake up from that nap and they're completely back to themselves. So this is super powerful. This is a blend of rosemary, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and one more. Lemon, did I say lemon? So five oils and it is magical. This I actually never run out of because it works so incredibly well for the health of my family. So I don't diffuse this if everybody's feeling great. I diffuse this only when they're starting to feel like they have a cough or cold. And as well, what I love when I have a cough or cold is peppermint because I get so congested. And this is magical. Magical for that issue. So sometimes I will combine them in my own bedroom, um, the, the, the peppermint and the thieves in my diffuser. And then, um, but again, I only need when I'm diffusing this in my kids room, just a few drops. Uh, I never go too, too hard, uh, maybe up to five drops uh, in the diffuser. Again, we just have a really small room. And then I do love the clove, the clove. Oh. I actually find this as a am really amazing energizer. And I diffuse clove when I'm at work uh, because I can be tired that if I'm tired that morning and I really need to feel a little bit more energetic, I can find, I can feel like I can like walk on water by the time I leave work when I've been diffusing this for most of the day. So hopefully that helps and you've got some tips. Um, a great thing to do when you're blending the citrus oils, there's actually a blend called Citrus Fresh, 
which has most of these citrus ones I just mentioned in it. So basically what I'm trying to say is there's really no wrong way to, to, to diffuse. So just mix it up and have some fun. Put maybe two drops of orange, two drops of lemon, and two drops of bergamot or grapefruit and see how you like it or just use the citrus fresh, citrus fresh blend. So yeah, I hope you found that helpful. There's really, these are just guidelines. These are just little suggestions, but really the whole point is to have fun and figure out exactly what you like. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that's helped you and inspired you to start diffusing more regularly and maybe in your bedroom at night. And if you want more information and more videos, go to passionforoils.com on Facebook. You'll find me there. If someone from Young Living has sent you to this video, please go and contact them for more info. And if you're just getting started with your essential oils journey, you can contact me and we can get started together. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.